since Thursday, movement across the various official border crossings between Uganda and Rwanda has been difficult owing to restrictions put in place by the Rwandan government. The Rwandan government says the restrictions on movement only apply to Rwandans entering Uganda. However, the long checks and extra clearance procedures have led to a backlog of cargo trucks at the border points which have in effect made crossing difficult. The current border situation comes at a time when relations between Uganda and Rwanda are at a low point following months of trading, accusations and counter accusations. The spokesperson of the government of Uganda, Ofono Pondo, has said Rwanda is acting in bad faith, saying if the country had any specific grievances against Uganda, they should have been raised in the East African community, where Rwandan President Paul Kagame is the current chairperson. Uganda was not willing to talk to Rwanda bilaterally. They can table this matter in Russia. Now that they have not chosen so, it's marks of bad faith. This comes just a day after Richard Sezibera, the Foreign Affairs Minister of Rwanda, during an interview with Rwanda's New Times newspaper, accused Ugandan security agencies of illegal holding and torturing Rwandans. Sezibera also accused Uganda of harboring people intent on destabilizing Rwanda and frustrating the free movement of goods from Rwanda into Uganda. Opondo says these allegations are baseless. Most important is that Rwandans are arrested, tortured, harassed in Uganda. First of all, it is not true. All the 16 people listed, what they are, the people they have listed in the social media, all of them you can go and check are people who have been processed through the court, the court system in Uganda. However, according to Fono Pondo, there are ongoing engagements between the two countries to ease the current tension and they have yielded some results. Since last night, they have opened Mirama Hills and we have been able by this morning to clear 59 trucks, goods trucks, from Uganda to Rwanda. But he says, Rwandans are still being denied entry into Uganda by their government. The obstruction or prevention of Rwanda nationals into Uganda continues. They are not allowing their people to come in. We ourselves at different levels are talking about them, but we have not yet uh, seen the result of those talks. Yeah. But yes, we are talking about them. However, According to Sirajin Sanja, the head of political science at Kampala University, the two countries' governments are not being entirely honest with their citizens. We can't take it that it is a matter between egos of the two principles. No, 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 no. It could be just maybe something is not being told. Nsanja says the East African community should intervene before the situation gets out of hand. This standoff between these two sister countries could have been diffused if Iyala, East African Legislative Assembly, helped these member countries to sort it out. But Iyala is looking on. According to Nsanja, the current status of Uganda-Rwanda relations will be a test of the East African community's ability to prevail over its constituent members in times of conflict, which will in turn determine the future of the regional bloc. Jumakiria, NTV.